What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 12.4. And this is a nice little treat because this is something that we don't get to do very often because iOS 12.4 is the latest firmware signed by Apple. This feels like back in the old days when a jailbreak would come out every few months, basically updating the last jailbreak for the most current firmware. So this is really awesome. Pwn to own released this jailbreak this morning. So I wanted to get a video out showing you guys how to do it. And if you want to jailbreak, make sure you're doing it as soon as possible. You don't want to accidentally upgrade if Apple puts out a new firmware fairly soon to patch this jailbreak. But let's go ahead and walk through the entire process. And if you guys are interested in seeing some top jailbreak tweak videos, make sure you hit the like button on this video to let me know. And I'll try to get a video out for compatible tweaks on iOS 12.4 as soon as possible. Now the first thing to know is this only works for A7 to A11 devices right now, so it's not going to work for A12 devices. Next is make sure you back up your device. You always wanna back up your device before you try any type of jailbreak or anything like that, just so you make sure you don't lose any data. All right, so there's a couple of different ways to get Uncover onto your device to jailbreak. Now one of those ways is going to be using a computer, and that's going to be the most secure way because you're getting the package directly from the developer pwned to own. So you know there's nothing fishy going on there. But there is a way to download Uncover directly to your device using only your device. So I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. All right, so all you wanna do is just go to this link, and I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can just tap on it, and this is Tweakbox. So you're gonna tap on apps right here, scroll down to the uh, Tweakbox apps, right there, tap on that, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to Uncover. Now, what you wanna make sure is that version 3.5.0. So you can see it's 3.4.2, but if we tap on it, it's actually updated right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap on Install here, tap on Install again. That should put it onto our springboard that we can see right here. And if we tap on it, you're gonna get a little uh, notification saying that you need to trust the developer. So let's go over here to Settings, go into General, swipe all the way down to Profiles and Device Management, tap on that Enterprise app, and trust it. So at this point, we can open it up, and there you have version 3.5.0 of Uncover onto your device. So that's one way to do it, to get it on your device. I'm also going to walk you through how to get it using a computer because that's obviously the most secure way to do it. Now, if you're using a computer, the first thing that you want to do here is open up this link that I'll put in the description below. This is Pwned Owns GitHub, and you have an IPA that's right here, version 3.5.0 IPA. So just click on that, download it. It's a pretty small file, just 38 megs. And then once you have that, just put it on your desktop like I've done over here, right there. And then you want to make sure that you have Cydia Impactor installed on your computer. Of course, I'll have a link in the description below for this as well, but you have the different versions to download. So if you have Mac OS, Windows, or Linux, you can download whatever version you need right here. So now, all you have to do is open up Cydia Impactor that you just downloaded, make sure your device is connected to your computer, and that your device is seen by Cydia Impactor right here, and then you're ready to jailbreak. So just before we do that, I'll show you that I am on iOS 12.4 right here. If we go into General, About, you can see iOS 12.4 on an iPhone 10. So in order to jailbreak, You'll just take that IPA that you put on your desktop, you will drag it over to City Impactor, and then you're gonna log in with your iTunes email. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, this is when you're gonna put in your password. And when you put in your password, and if it doesn't work, which it's not going to work right here, the reason for this is because you need to generate an app-specific password. So, to do that, you're gonna go back into your browser and you're gonna to go to appleid.apple.com. Then you're gonna type in your uh, iTunes email as well as your password and then sign in. Once you're signed in, you should see a security section and you'll see a generate password. So we're gonna click on generate password and then you can just type in JB for jailbreak, click create, and then it's gonna give you an app specific password. So we're gonna use this password in City Impactor. So just highlight that and copy it and we'll go through that process of dragging the IPA typing in our email, and then just pasting in that password that we just grabbed. So at this point, it should go ahead and install the jailbreak tool on our device. So let's just give it a second. And there is Uncover on our device. So if we go ahead and open up that, all you gotta do 
Let's tab jailbreak, and it's gonna start that jailbreaking process. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. I'll go ahead and let this go in real time just so you guys have an idea if you're you know, walking through this process at the same time as I'm doing it, so you should know how long it actually takes. So here's a little pop-up. The system snapshot has been successfully renamed and the device will now be restarted. So if we just tap on OK, then it's gonna restart the device. So let's go ahead and unlock. Swipe over, and now let's tap on it again. This time make sure your device is in airplane mode before you tap jailbreak for the second time because that's gonna give you a better or a higher success rate. All right, so if it fails, just like this, it gives you a little pop-up saying that it was unable to exploit the kernel. It's not an error, just reboot and try it again. So we're gonna reboot the device and try jailbreaking again.
All right, so it finally completed. It did take several tries, but we can see here that it was successful and then it worked in 53 seconds in this particular attempt. So let's go ahead and tap OK and it's going to respring your device and you should have Cydia on your phone. So let's swipe over and there is Cydia. So tap on that. Actually, yeah, let's turn on uh, Wi-Fi here and reload. And there you have it. We are jailbroken on an iPhone 10 on iOS 12.4, the latest firmware signed by Apple. All right, that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions or any issues, let me know in the comments below. Of course, help each other out if you see a comment that you might know the answer to. I'll stay around and check to see what you guys are running into and see if I can help as well. All right, guys, if you want to see those top jailbreak tweaks that work on the newest firmware, make sure you hit that like button to let me know, and I'll try to get something out as soon as possible. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.